butternut squash, there's the seed pod down here. So I'm going to cut it off at the seed pod. So I want to cut this down, and hopefully about the, all the same size, like that. Okay, I'm going to cut this way, this way, and just cut right around. So it's all going to be the same. And what we do in the industry is um, we, we always par cook our vegetables um, if they're dense. Let me put it that way. So if they're like green beans, yeah, I have my, uh, I'll have my crew blanch them first, and then they can saute them to order. So the same with this. If we waited for this to cook, it would probably take a good 40 minutes in a boiling water with salt, and then it would be, we would stand there and watch it. So this way, you can have your mise en place, as it's called, everything in its place, before your party starts. The people walk in the door, just like we're going to do with this. This is already par cooked. I'm going to flip it a little bit, saute it, season it up, and then serve it to you. So it should take no, about five minutes at the most. And then while you're tasting this, I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the butternut squash, okay? And the fat that I'm going to use for the butternut squash is um, in-house made pancetta. It takes about, uh, mm, about a month to make. First I lay it out as the belly, pork belly, and put um, bake, um, uh, let's see, fresh thyme and also fresh cracked black pepper and a lot of it. And then I let it sit, and then after about four days, I roll it up, and then I let it air dry and let it hang in the walk-in for about a week. And then I cry back it. So that's what we're going to have today for our fat source for our butternut squash. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to color this up just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to take the pan actually off the heat. Right? And then we're going to have our thumb over this because I have seen, like working with Brandy, they go up, the flame come up into the bottle and then the bottle takes off. Yeah, that's a surprise. Oh, that would be better first. Let's do Brandy, then we'll do wine. Oh, yeah. I want to know where the rest of it went. So that pancetta is just starting to talk to me a little bit here. You see, it's just starting to crisp up a little bit. Off the heat. Flambe. That's it. What the brandy also do? The brandy helps to scrape up those little bits on the bottom of the pan, and that's called souk in French. Try to keep some of it in the pan there. And then we get that reduced down to what's called el sec. El sec means dry. And then we're going to come back with a little bit of uh, the wine. Okay, so we're going to put in our squash, which is going to be, it's been sitting out at room temperature, so it's not going to be quite as cold. Now this was actually put into a, uh, a cryovac bag, a vacuum seal machine, with a vanilla bean overnight. So it's going to extract some of that vanilla flavor. Vanilla is also an excellent thing to work with uh, with your food if you have a dietary problem or where you need to keep the calories down. Okay. We work it, but we don't keep doing it. What I want to do is just rotate it to the bottom again and let it heat. If you just keep playing with it and it's off the heat, you're not cooking it at all. And actually, all we need to do is reheat it, right? So we get it up to temperature a little bit. We add our dates. And we're going to rotate this down. OK, some of that charred ginger. So the aromas should be really starting to build for you. Pull those under. And the herb is going to go in last because the herb will cook out. It's fresh. Rosemary is very strong. So we're just going to lightly hit it. See, that's the unfortunate part about the film crew. The smells don't come through. We'll have a scratch, we'll have a scratch and sniff screen. OK. So of course, you want to taste your product. Make sure it's seasoned properly. Always taste your food. Never assume that you've made it 100 times and it's good. <laughs>